Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Welcome back to Mudrunner. Now, today I said I would go to the bog, if you remember, and we would try out the huntsman around the bog. So that's what we're going to be doing. We are going to try out everything that we can with this one. Now, I seem to remember that that area there was the really difficult bit to get through. There was also a bit here. I think that was also difficult to get through there, although I, I'm not actually sure. I think that may have been fairly easy. But this bit over here, this this was the difficult bit. So we came along the road all the way along here, and we went all the way up there, and we got to that fuel station. But it was getting through that area there that was the tricky bit. And then we got the log station all the way at the top. Um, the lumber mill is back there. So really, we want to come out here. We want to go along there. We want to get all the way over to the C255 over here, and then we want to get across this piece here. Now, we can either follow the road around, or we can sort of go through here. And I'm thinking that I'd like to go through that way, and then cut across the bog. So we can really push the limits of what this huntsman creature can do. So what are we going to take with us? Um, we've got, well, we got we got the bit on the top. That takes uh, 500 repair points, 200 litres. We've got this one up here. It's, uh, we need that one, and we want that one. Fuel capacity, 3,000. Huntsman fuel there, so we can take like a full thing of fuel. 500 repair points, 10,000 litres. Uh, the fuel trailer is currently unavailable. The canistra, that's, that goes on, that's 2,000. That one is uh, 2,200. We take that one as well. That one there, oh, that's the crane to go on. And then we've got a... That's four garage points. So we can unlock the other garage. Now, where's the other garage on the map? That's the one that I can't remember. Uh, there were, oh, the garage is all the way up there. There's only one on the map. So we'll take the garage with us. This is what we're going to take with us. Uh, so we'll come back out of there, and we will take... Is it that one? Yeah. So what have I got to remove to be able to take that one? Um, Huntsman. Drop hack. There. Now, can I take the garage? That's the garage there. Carries four points. Uh, and we've got the... Yeah. So we want that one there. Four points like that. And then we've got uh, Huntsman. Well, that one's unavailable. Six points there. Six points logs. And then we got got... Uh, oh, there's 400 report, uh, repair points there. We can take that one. And that one there is... Oh, that goes on the back. That's an, ex that's an extra trailer thing on the back. We've got the short log trailer, we've got the utility trailer, we've got that trailer there. That one takes four points. I did have another trailer, but I don't know where it's gone. Maybe it's just not compatible with this particular truck. Anyway, I think that's enough, so let's get going. We've only got 200 litres of fuel. I don't get why we don't have very much fuel left. So let's start this bad boy up, and let's get moving. We're going to take this one all the way out. So I'm going to come out of the area there like that. And then I'm going to go back in and we're going to see how much fuel it puts in. Because at the moment, it's only I've only got 200 litres of fuel. Stop there, 2 litres fuel. Right, that's literally it. I'm, I'm only allowed to have 200 litres. So yeah, the idea today was to find out just what this thing is capable of doing. Whether it can get through absolutely everything and be unstoppable. I have been told by a few people that watch this series on a regular basis that they like the Huntsman, and they use the Huntsman, but they've occasionally got to force themselves to use a different vehicle, because quite frankly, the Huntsman is invincible and unstoppable, um, and it is really as good as I think it might be. So, um, yeah, we, we, we're going to sort of keep that in mind as we go racing around the map, and I, it's, it's the, the, the mud that I'm really looking forward to trying out, it's seeing what it's going to do there. And then, obviously, we're also going to be wanting to go and grab a load of logs and do stuff there. But we're going to have to get the log trailer first. Um, I'm pretty sure there is a way that we can take... Because this is it eight points that we got. I think it's eight points we've got to take. So I'm pretty sure there is a way that we can take eight points. That's the one thing with this one, is it does seem to get battered by uh, stones and stuff like that that are on, on the track. So you do have to watch it a little bit when you're building up some speed. But that seems to be the only even marginal issue with it. Um, oh, what was... Did we try driving? We didn't. We tried it with the Holmer, that Holmer Eco thing that we had. Um, so if we go... Activate cockpit camera. There we go. Right, let's see what this is like. There we go. 
It's all right. I don't like that we got the reflection in the window there. That kind of puts me off a bit. I said last week about getting a mod that would smash the trees down. Apparently no such mod exists at the moment, but there are more than one person that would like that because we would also like to have the not only the trees being smashed down, but also people would like to be able to see a, a mod where you can go and cut trees down yourself and then you can um, take those trees and load them up and then do stuff with them, which, you know, there's quite a few people that seem to think that would be very cool, and I'm inclined to agree with you. I quite like this idea, going out and cutting our own logs on the map and then sort of taking it from that point. So we come over to here. We're right over in the far corner now, so we're going to go across the river. This is where it starts to get a bit more interesting for us. We've got to get across the river here, and then once we've done that, we're then going through into the boggier ground. This is going to be the more difficult stuff for us to get through. The river has presented no problems whatsoever. Zoom out. Can I zoom out a bit? I can't really zoom out much more than that, so we'll go there. Yes, the river has presented no problems. We're going to go this way, and then it's going to take us in across the boggy bits. Now, I'm pretty sure that we did have some difficulties getting through here last time with our previous vehicle of choice, but this one doesn't seem to be even breaking a sweat. And here we go. This is the area that was difficult. Now, we got really properly stuck in here before, and it's definitely slowed us down. It's sl it's, it is it's boggy, and it's really soft ground in here. We've really slowed down, but I'm, st I'm still cruising along in third gear. And the road is not much different to th the rest of it on here. And look at this. I'm plowing through this. <laughs> okay, it's, this machine is literally completely unstoppable. We will have to try coming through here, I think, with... I think we've got a, a, th a thing that will put four points of logs just on the back as a carrier and then a trailer. Although I'm not certain. We will have to look very carefully about the different options that we've got for doing the logs. Now, where do I need to go after this? Oh, I'm pretty much I want to go straight on. Just want to go straight on a little bit further and then I can um, load up with fuel and everything. And then we're going to head up to the top end of the map and we are going to unlock the garage. We may stop off part way through and um, get some of the watch points as well. Look at the, look how deep that mud is and look how easily this thing is just cruising through it as though it's not there at all. It's, it's absolutely not... It's, it's not bothering it in the slightest, is it? The only thing that I don't like about this... Well, I mean, I suppose it's not really drunk very much fuel. On all that distance, it barely drunk anything. Um, so let's go through here. We want to fill up like that. And then next one like that. <laughs> the amount of fuel that we can carry around with us is just ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, on we go. So our next port of call... Let me go up here. And, right, the watch points are all the way over there. So we've got a log station up there where we could unlock some stuff. I want to go to that point, and then I want to go straight across there over to this point. Now, there's a lake here, so we're going to have to get around that one, I think, and so we can get around the trees. Then I think we can go straight through there to this point, which will then be able to take us up to there, and then we can go towards the watch point that way, and the garage and the rest of it. I think that is going to be the most challenging way that we can go. The, the reason that I, I want to do that is because I don't want to just go following the roads, because we've just found out now that this one is absolutely not going to have any problem following roads or anything like that. So we need to go somewhere that's slightly more difficult for it. I think we may just have to go over the edge there rather than trying to go this way. Uh, oh, no, no, we want, we want to come out here. Come out through here, and then we can turn and we can go across. So we got, uh, oh, I see. There's a, there's a deep old bit down here. We're going to have to go carefully down here. Easy does it. It's got a little tiny bit of damage, but not very much. So we're going to have to be careful going through here. It doesn't seem to like rocks. This is one big weakness, is rocks. So if we slow... Well, there is a lot of rocky areas in the bog, isn't there? There is there is quite a lot of rocky areas in this map. So we will just very carefully get through here. We're going to climb up that bit over there. I've also got a couple of other vehicles on this map, but I don't know if we're going to get to them in today's episode. We may just come back to this one next week. 
Um, if you haven't seen it yet, go and take a look at the announcement. There is a new map with a new DLC and everything coming out to this game. They are releasing it soon. I'm not quite sure when, but soon there is a new map coming out. Uh, there's some new vehicles being brought out with it as well as so a full DLC and it's completely free. They're not charging for it. They've decided they don't want to charge with DLCs. Um, I know there's a lot of people who are going to be very pleased about that. A lot of people are going to be very pleased about the fact that the DLC is going to be free. Personally, I like the idea, but I am cautious at the same time. Because if they're not charging for the DLC, where is their income going to come from? This is the one reason that I actually like paid DLCs. And I generally, for a game that I like, I will buy paid DLCs. Um, because it ongoing support for the people that make the game and if they don't have those paid DLCs where does their income come from where is it where is it turning up from in order for them to continue making money uh, because you can't just make money out of nothing you know once the game has been sold that's it and there's only so many you know copies of a game that you can sell before it, it kind of loses momentum and, and stop selling. So that is my reason that I actually do like paid DLCs. And uh, for microtransactions, I know this is another contentious issue, um, and I'm going to, rather than avoid you know, talking about contentious issues, I'm just going to wade right in and give my opinion, because you're all here and you're listening to my opinion. It's like you're a captive audience. It's a wonderful thing. Um, I like microtransactions sort of to a certain extent there are some that i like and there are some that i really don't like i absolutely despise any form of microtransaction that gives you any form of advantage in the game now a lot of games i play like on my tablet i play games like clash of clans uh, i play hearthstone and things like that now they have microtransactions that speed things up you go and buy gems or you go and buy extra cards so you buy stuff like that and it makes the whole process much, much faster, and it gives you a better edge. Um, that's a very... That is a grey area, as far as I'm concerned, because it's speeding everything up. You know, you, you're getting what you want a lot faster, rather than having to wait for a period of time for it. So, yeah, there's... Um, and there are certain things in some of those games that you can't do unless you're going to you know, fork out a load of money on it. So, yeah, for, for that, I, I'm not so keen on. I tend to shy away. When it's more blatant, you pay us a load of money and you get a really cool weapon that you can use in-game. You can also get said cool weapon if you spend ages and ages earning it. I despise that. That is a full-on pay-to-win, that is, because it takes such a long time to get the weapon that the person who doesn't pay doesn't really have a look in. That is full-on pay-to-win. I really dislike that. If, however, um, microtransactions are all about purely cosmetic items, World of Warcraft, I feel, does microtransactions really well. Now, World of Warcraft also has a subscription model, so I don't generally spend very much money with them. I do occasionally if there's something I really want to get. Now, I got I've, actually we've gone through all the difficult bits. I now need to get through there, and this is um, th th there's a, a forest in the way, which is going to make life more difficult. We're going to have to go up that way, I think, in order to be able to get round it. We'll, we'll take a look. Um, so yes, World of Warcraft. Now, World of Warcraft has some microtransactions, but everything that you can buy in World of Warcraft is 100% cosmetic, right? You can go and buy the extra subscription thing, and you can buy yourself a load of cash, and you could buy stuff off the auction house. It's not really going to give you much of an edge, um, being able to buy stuff off the auction house compared to earning the stuff in game so yes there is you know technically a little bit where you can like cut some corners with the cash if you can buy it from other players that have already got it for sale most things in world of warcraft that give you a decent edge you can't buy and trade anyway you've got to go out and you've got to earn them so it, it gets around it that way um but most of the stuff is 100 percent purely cosmetic anyway fortnite i'm really getting into fortnite i'm really enjoying playing that game and Fortnite has quite a few different microtransactions you can go in and you can buy. All of them are absolutely 100% cosmetic. There is no advantage that you will get in a game if you go and buy those items compared to somebody that has bought none of them at all. And that is what I like. And so for a game like that, um, I am planning on spending some money with Fortnite. 
because I'm really starting to enjoy that game and so far I've not given them any money at all. And I personally, if if the game is free and I really enjoy it, I do generally end up finding a way to put some money towards the developers. Now I know that that game is absolutely huge and so there's loads of people are giving them money and I don't really need to worry about it like that but, you know, I'm that's, that's just the way that I feel about it. So I will put some money in towards that. I will most likely do that by buying the PvE campaign um, and buying into it like that. So that will be, you know, how I buy in, uh, you know, buy some, um, buy into it and uh, provide some money for the developers. So if they were to release a DLC for Fortnite, it wouldn't necessarily need to be a paid DLC because they've already got this transaction system and it is absolutely 100% cosmetic. There is nothing you can get in that game that will give you any kind of advantage whatsoever. Right, we want to come through here and then over to this way and then up to the garage somehow. I'm not sure how we get to the garage. Um, so, yes, and then we come back to this game. Now, they're releasing a DLC and they're releasing it for a charge. This is making a lot of people very happy and I think at the moment that is actually a good thing from a marketing point of view because this game did get off to a little bit of a shaky start. Um, it's It had limited stuff, the camera thing was awful and everybody hated the whole camera thing. I mean, well, most people did. Um, some people loved the camera the way that it was, but you know, most people absolutely detested the camera. Um, and they listened and they changed it, but it did get off to a shaky start because of this and a few other issues as well. So they're now releasing a free DLC. This is going to give them much, much better reviews. So it's going to get, it's going to give them a much more glowing review. Um, and they're a big company; they can afford to do that. They don't have to. Re they're not sort of living hand to mouth like the Gold Rush guys are doing. The Gold Rush guys, they are, you know, they're a very small development company, and so their paid DLC makes absolute sense because you know they've got to earn their crust somehow. Um, this game here, this from a marketing point of view, this is actually a really good idea because it means now that they're going to get a whole load more people coming in and buying into the game because of the free DLC. Um, and so that is going to pay off for them. If it continued over time and they you know, released more DLCs and all of them were free, I would start to question how long they can keep that going for. How long they can keep going with you know, support for the game if they're never releasing paid DLCs, where are they getting extra income from? So there's only so many people that are going to buy the game. And when the sales start to dry up and the money starts to dry up, what then? What happens next? Um, I don't really know. I mean, you can sort of go the line. Factorio. Now, Factorio is a game that I love. It's not a game that is overly popular on, uh, you know, for videos, which is why I've stopped doing it. But it's a game that I happen to play quite a lot of in my spare time. Um... And I, I genuinely love that game. Now, they don't do paid, paid DLCs. They don't do updates. They're still in early access when their game is more bug-free than just about every game that is currently out there. That's why everybody seems to love this game. Um, but it's not going to have a massive audience. And they've never released a paid DLC. But what they have done now is they have released a line of merchandise with, you know, T-shirts and stuff like that. That's where their income is coming from. And so that's how it's been secured. Um, and so I always look at this, I don't immediately go, oh yeah, great, free DLC, that's what we want. Because it's not always the best thing. Um, you know, if, if there's no income for the developers coming in anywhere, what are they going to do? How are they going to continue to get an income? How, how are they going to earn their money and you know, be able to, to, basically, to live? What, what are they going to do next? Right. I'm thinking now we've gone all the way over here and I've been rattling on long enough about that. So we're going to do something slightly different. That truck had, uh, the Huntsman was, it was, it was easy. It was absolutely easy. So what we'll do is we will, from here, we're going to load up anything that we can. I'm going to get rid of that one in a minute. But I'm going to change over to a different vehicle very soon. And we're going to get these other watch points with the, um, with the different vehicle. It's one that I've already used. So we got a medium log carrier on the back right there. And then we can also take a medium trailer on the back at six. Uh, that one right there, four points. There. So we got a medium trailer and a medium logs. That is, look at that. That That is a thing of beauty right there. That is gorgeous. We're going to use that to deliver the two lots to the sawmills, but we're not going to use it at the moment. We're going to go to advanced. I'm going to stop engine. I'm going to go to here. And I'm going to go all the way back down here. And I'm going to go to... Well, 
we're going to take a look at this one first. I've got the Nyx Mantis crawler over there that we have used previously. But right now, we're going to use this. So we've got a garage trailer. <laughs> okay, we might try that in a minute. We've got a loader on it. Oh, I see. It's the, the loader that goes on the um, the K3700, I think it is. Uh, protection. That's always good. Let's, let's get some extra protection on there. Short log trailer. Uh, ordinary tray carrying. Oh, you've got to have a trailer coupling for that one. Different coupling, that is. Ooh. Carries hay. Two points. Okay. Trailer coupling is required to install trailer. Utility trailer. We can just have the utility trailer. And then we got that old trailer over there, which I don't want to use. Um, okay, I want to do this. Trailer coupling. Let's just take a look at the trailer coupling. Ah, I see it's a different type of trailer there. And then we go trailer. Install. There we go. Right, where's where's the hay? Where, where do you get the hay from? Um... I don't really know, but I, I, I'm liking this idea. <laughs> Listen to this thing. It's fantastic. It's not going to go anywhere. It's <laughs> there is no way that this one is going to get through the bog. It is just not going to happen. It is no way is this going to happen. Not a chance. Have we got any lights? Um, headlights? There we go. Well, maybe it will. Maybe it's just insanely slow. No, it's not. If we get this one towards the bog, it's not going anywhere, is it? We don't have a winch either, by the look of it. We can go along some of the tracks. But quite frankly, I think that this one is going to... Yeah, this... <laughs> oh, that thing is fantastic! Trailer load of hay. It's just a shame that we've... Um, we don't have a... a load point anywhere nearby to, to, to really make use of this one um advanced oh we do have a winch we actually have a winch as well that is brilliant uh oh i got a winch point there right i can go over to that right well the winch works and it works well Right, it's starting to get dark, and I, yeah, I think it affects the video too much for me to be able to stay on. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to leave this one running, and we'll do it from this one. Let's go into there, and we'll go skip night. Yes. There we go. I love the start sound on that. That is just brilliant. Okay, and now we're really starting to see what this thing is capable of, which is apparently not very much. I'm curious if anybody has ever managed to complete the bog with this tractor. I very much doubt it. I'd be genuinely surprised if anybody is able to do that with this tractor. It just doesn't seem like something that could happen. Let's do that. Um, no, the stump's coming towards me. Oh, no, we've done it. We've done it. Let's continue on our way. On our epic journey. We're not going very far with this one. Don't worry. This, this is just going to be slow and painful. Um... I just wanted to see if I could get a little distance. <laughs> that's 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 it. That, that's about as far as we're going to go. Um, have we got a winch? Yeah, we got a winch source, so we can, we can keep going a little bit more. Let's keep going. Let's try turning the wheels towards the winch source, and then uh, we probably won't rip our front wheel off. It'd be embarrassing if we did that. Go this way. I want to. I want to keep going. I want to go cross country. I want to go down over there, down towards that track down there. Can we do this? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Look at that. We've got some real speed going here now, and this seems to be the softest ground known to man. And that's the end of it. I don't think it's going any further. Yeah. Okay, so our little tractor here is not going anywhere at all. It does seem to be hopelessly stuck. It's able to do that quite well. But actually, advancing is not uh, really an option any longer. Go on, we can go around this way. I'm sure we can do this. It's because it's stuck in the, the grass. And also because I don't use... Uh, because I'm using... Um, automatic rather than um, manual gears as well um, I think I would have a better chance of, everybody is assuring me that I would have a much better chance if I tried this 
without having it sort of like this. But anyway, okay, we, we, we've done this one. I'm, I'm bored with this one now. So we're going to go there and we're going to stop engine. And we're going to go back over here. We're going to go to the Nyx Mantis Crawler. Now, we know that this one is pretty good. Let's stick the repair kit on board. We're probably going to want that one. So our first point is going to be right there. We're going to go in pretty much a straight line, if we can. Um, let's go. Take that one off. Put that one and that one on. And we know that this bad boy here is nigh on unstoppable. We have used this one a lot. But what it's going to be like in the deeper bogs, I don't really know. So I'm pretty sure I was actually using the other version of it last time. Now that I think about it. I don't th I don't remember it having PSC written on the side. I'm pretty sure it had the other one. I can't even remember what that last one was called. But look at it go. Look at it go. That's what we want. Right. Straight up over there. And down. Ha 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 ha. That's more like it. That is more like it. Let's go out here onto the plane. And this one is able to go fast enough that it's going over the top of the mud instead of getting bogged down. Sort of. In places. Yeah, it, it is getting bogged down. Ooh. Oh, no! Well, as you can see, we are back here. Uh, reason being, when it cracked, it, yeah, it, it, it did crash. It definitely crashed. That's why I screamed and cried and wailed and wept. Uh, but basically, what's happened is uh, when, when it, it crashed, it failed to save the current data. And so I was unable to reload it. So we've had to restart the whole thing from scratch. Now, I don't know if it was this particular mod or if it was to do with this mod and another one conflicting or what. I'm not really sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this bad boy out. And um, I've actually changed it. It's Maxis written on the side. I've actually got the other one rather than the same one that I had just now. And we're going to try this again. We're going to see if this makes any difference. Because what happened was it got stuck at one point and then it would go, it, it kind of destroyed the game. It didn't like it. And this is not a good thing. We want to be able to use this to unlock a few points on the map. So we'll go out here again. We'll see if it does it again. I, I don't know if it's going to do it or not. But yeah, it basically got to around about here somewhere and then decided that it wasn't going to go any further. I'm hoping that it was just the fact that it was the other mod or something like that. that that's the second time that's actually happened to me. Although the first time that it happened, it was after I'd completely finished a recording. So it kind of didn't matter quite so much. And I was using a mod that I'm not using at the moment. So I don't really know what it was. But obviously, you have, whenever you use a mod, it there is going to be potential conflicts that come in. Things that go wrong. Um, so there's always a possibility it could cause it. It may have been caused by the tractor and the trailer being out here. That might have been enough to do it. You never actually really know with mods. There's, there's all kinds of strange things and conflicts that can happen with them. But anyway, we will hopefully be able to continue on with our um, desired thing to do today, which was go to that watch point and then go to that watch point. We've already uncovered that one, but we're going to go back here again and then we'll go to there. So we get these four watch points before we finish this episode. And then we'll be able to, we'll be ready next week. Because I did, what I wanted to do next week was um, use the Huntsman and the Log Carrier and then the Log Trailer. Use both of them together to complete this map. Because we never actually completed this map. Um, it's still saying we've only got, uh, the, we've got the limited progression points because we've yet to complete the map. So we will try and unlock it. We will try and complete this whole map. Jump in there. That was fantastic. I love this mod. I really genuinely love this mod. He's so much fun. Um, so yeah, we'll do, we'll do this. We'll uncover these points. And then we will get the Watchman. And we will... Not the Watchman, the Huntsman. We get the Huntsman. And the Huntsman can do the... Oh, can I get... I can't get through there. We're going to have to back up a little bit. We're going to have to go round. We need to get to the next one. Can I get through there? Yeah, probably be better if I just go through the water. Come down around here. And we'll go in that way. There we go. Now we got. Uh, we want to come up there, and then we can go down across that big, wide, boggy area again. Um, you know, the more I think about it, the more I think it may have been that tractor for some reason. I don't know why the tractor would do it, but yeah, that's what I suspect may have done it. Not quite sure. We'll we'll see. Um, see if it does it again before we finish this episode. We could go racing. It's not going to take very long to get to that one over there. The next... Oh, actually, well, I say that, but we seem to be digging ourselves in more and more and more. 
If you could get up on top of the mud, that would be so much easier. It really would. And it would be convenient as well. Much more convenient than what we're doing right now. Oh, 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 oh. He's thinking about it. It's definitely, yes, there we go. And he's slowing down again. I kind of like the... I, I do think the mud could use a bit of work, to be honest. The, the, the way that the mud is done, depicted in the game. I do think they could definitely use a little bit of work. Just a little bit of improvement there. But it's not too bad, I suppose. It, it kind of... I guess that they got to do it like that to like to minimize the impact on CPU usage um, or GPU usage, um, either or really, um, and it's it's still sort of be active. So I guess we're sort of waiting in uh, average computing power to increase before we can really in increase the quality of it. We're really slow at the moment. This is actually started to get rather dull. This this thing is supposed to be this this thing is built for speed. We're supposed to be speeding across the landscape. Smashing through trees, doing damage to ourselves and everything around us. That is what it's all about. Ah, there we go. Now, now we're talking. Right, we want to go on up this way. We got more trees that we've got to get through those trees up there. Uh, how are we going to do that? I think we're going to have to go up this way. So, but yeah, we're going to have to go up there and go around those trees. So, because cutting through them is not really going to be an option. So, are we going to be able to get through here reasonably easily? Or not? Guessing... I'm going to go out on a limb here and say not. Let's say this is probably a, a not easy one. This is just a very, very slow one. I mean, it says the bog. And you sort of associate that with the bit over on that other side. You don't really sort of think, oh, well, it's going to be all of the map. But, yeah, it does turn out to be nearly all of the map. It is just one big squidgy bog that is just slow and sometimes rather tedious to get through. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We've got some grip now. Now we're talking. Right, we want to get up around here. We need to just go up between these ones here on this side. And then we should... Yeah, there we go. There it is. We come racing through here. It's actually fairly... Because we've got... like I think it's because, you know, we've got the drainage here. It's actually reasonably dry on this point. You, you, can, you can keep a... Maintain a reasonable turn of speed until you get to that bit. This is the bit that slows it down. And this is the bit that I suspect is going to drown our poor vehicle, if it does. Does it drown? Yes, it does. It definitely has a drownage point. Drownage is a word. I've just made it so. Just in case Just in case you were wondering, yes, I have decided to make it so. So, even if it's not... No! Oh, no, no, no! No, don't be upside down! I was doing so well! No! Is it gonna, is it gonna go any further? Um... Oh, we were doing so well. I was going to uncover the last point. Look at it. It's right there. Oh, that is annoying. Right, we're going to have to recover the garage all the way down here. Yes, we're going to have to recover to the garage. Let's keep going. Um, Park brake off. Put the diff lock on. Right, now, what is the quickest way to get up there? Now, I think we need to go out. Oh, no, no. We want to go okay now. We want to go along there. We want to follow this road all the way along here. I think this is actually fairly quick. If I remember, there wasn't that much in the way of muddy stuff, was there? I, I, I don't actually know now. Now that I'm talking about it, I don't actually know. So we go to there, and we want to get to that watch point. Can we do this before I need to go? We, we got kind of running out of time. So it's, it's going to be a bit touch and go. Hopefully we can do this. Right, we want to go race. We're going to stick to the road-ish. It does depend how slow it gets as we travel along. As to whether or not I think we can do this. At the moment, it's looking promising. Whether it's going to stay promising remains to be seen. So we carry on up through here. And uh, that slowed us down a little bit. But no, at the moment it's still going okay. We, we can still go cruising through this mud over here. Come back round there. Easy does it. Right. Straight up through here. Now this isn't too bad. There's, there's a little bit of mud and stuff. But... Um, Generally, we I think we can avoid a lot of this. There's a rocky outcrop up there. It'd be pretty cool if we could get on top of it, but I don't think we're going to be able to. So we want to come over there. We need to. We can sort of avoid some of the muds by going up onto the grass on the sides. That seems to help. Through there, another another um, rock. But no, generally speaking, this one's doing all right. Oh, not again! No, no, no! Oh, oh! Thank goodness for that! Thank goodness we landed on our feet. It's okay. We landed on our feet. We can keep going. Up we go. 
That was close. That was actually a little bit too close for comfort, that was. We almost lost it completely there, but we're still doing okay. So we're going to go, we're going to take a shortcut through here. And, yep, the, the mud here doesn't seem too bad. We're going to be all right, I think, to get up through to the next bit. It's actually fairly dry, he says, as he bogs down. Okay, um, maybe not quite as dry as we originally thought, but it, we, we're getting through it. That's the important bit. Let's focus on the main objective here. We, we're making forward progress. And forward progress is always going to be good. We want to get up here. So I'm thinking, yes, if we if we can go this way. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we, we got water. We, we, watery mud. Is it is it going to be bad watery mud or is it going to be good watery mud? So far, so good. So far, so good. And what have I got? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, um, right, well, that wasn't the way repair kit yes thank you very much repair kit you are a beauty bring that one back over there right we got one more bit that we got to get to and yeah we don't want to go through there we want to go on round this way bring it round ah now we got to go through the water but i'm pretty sure we've been through this a little bit of an oxbow lake there look at that Look at me bringing in my geography lessons from GCSEs all those 20 years ago. That's impressive, even if I do say so myself. And right. I couldn't tell you any of the other names for like the bits of lakes and, and, and there's a meander. I don't know if that's actually a thing or if that's just a, one that I've just invented off the top of my head. Um, but an oxbow lake is definitely something. But I, I think it's only if it's actually a river. So this, this might not actually be an oxbow lake. It might just be uh, the hole in the road. Um, it doesn't sound quite so impressive then, does it? Let's get through there. Up onto that bit. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Ste steady. Easy. Easy, tiger. Easy. And on to the next bit. Right, come on. We can get through here now. Now we can go. I reckon we'll do this. I reckon we'll do this. It's a straight line now. We're on the home run. Well, I, I think we're on the home run. We're sort of on the home run. We're, we, we're nearing the home run. Let's push it up through there. On round. There it is. We've done it. Right. Next time, we are going to be doing our unlocking where we're going to um, do, do the logs. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye. And see you later. Up we go. Oh, I was wondering if I could like flip the thing upside down before I left. But apparently I can't do that when I want to.